Hey guys, we are back with some more Toronto Maple Leafs GM mode. Last time we got up to here, uh, middle of, you know, January. And this time, I sort of want to keep an eye on two players, Jimmy Hayes and Seth Griffith. Griffith, uh, no, <laughs> can't talk. Griffith has done nothing this season so far. 46 games played and nine points on the third line and second line power play. So I took him off the power play and I replaced him with Taylor Hall on the point. So Taylor Hall will be playing second line and first line power play time now on the point on the second line and on uh, forward on the first line because I feel like we really need an offensive boost and Taylor Hall is going to do that for us. So, or most likely anyway, <laughs> hopefully he does. If not, then, you know, we got some problems that we need to work out. And uh, yeah, still want to keep an eye on Hayes as well because he's in at eight points. He's not on the power play, but he's still, regardless, sitting at eight points. So I'd like to keep an eye on him as well. I mean, especially for his contract. You know, Hayes, he's at 3.6 per year. So uh, that's kind of, you know, I feel like you should be getting a bit more. More like uh, Kip Harper is doing right now, 18 points. Somewhere around there, you know. And the second line's a bit sluggish right now as well. 21 points and 46 for Goldobin. Uh, 25 for Broussard, and then I believe, yeah, 28 for Kudrov. So, really, besides the first line, and uh, even Nylander is a bit slow right now. 34 points in 46 games. I mean, that's not terrible, but I would for his overall, I'd like to be seeing a bit more out of him. I mean, like, even, like, every player on the fourth line has more points than Hayes and Griffith. You know, so that's kind of concerning a bit. But the thing is, this was, besides Harper and Broussard, this was pretty much the Stanley Cup winning team back two years ago. So I'd like to keep as much of it together as possible. You know, the Kadri trade, I think, financially was necessary. But, you know, I, I just sort of, I don't feel comfortable making moves just because you know of stats or like you know bad stats if we lose in the playoffs with no injuries then that's when we need to make that change and maybe we trade Hayes and Griffith at the draft you know that that's what I'm thinking here anyway let's get on with simulation uh don't think I'm gonna play the all-star game <laughs> but we'll see who's there anyway so game against Boston here there you go 5-3 win as soon as I'm calling out the offense they uh show up to play and uh he, lot long break here because the all-star game so yeah hopefully uh taylor hall on the power play uh is working out especially on the point he's getting some point shots there i'd imagine that's helping out compared to griffith with a total of nine points and he's been on the power play the majority of the year if not all year so i mean that that's just not good enough for uh Griffith, man, it's it's really not. All right, All Star game. Let's see who's playing. Man, what <laughs> what color are we? Black or green? We'll start the uh, start over here. No, this is the that's the West. The green All Stars. Okay. Okay, so Ovechkin, Crosby, Voracek, Stamkos, Tavares, Reinhardt, Nyquist, Little, Bjorkstrand, Lee, Zaka, Huberdeau. So no forward on our team. Ugh. Defenseman Carlson, Lugren. Hedman and Subban and Letty and Carrick. Okay, so Carrick's there. But surprisingly not Riley. I guess Riley's having a bit of an offseason. And then John Gibson is in there. Yeah, we're not going to play. It's only <laughs> a third-line defenseman and Gibson is the backup for some reason. So, yeah, we're not going to play. Let's just sim past. We'll go to up to where the trade deadline is. That should be when the next scout appears anyway. So let's see how this uh, power play does here. New and improved power play. With Taylor Hall on the point on the second line. Ugh. Man, come on, boys. Get it going offensively. Let's go, boys. Oh, <laughs> yikes. Two big losses back to back in a row. And that was redundant, but whatever. There you go. There was a win. Detroit, Nashville coming up. Come on, Toronto. 
Score some goals. There you go. Five to four. That's what I like to see. Get another win here, Toronto. Th make it three in a row. Make it three in a row, Toronto. Pfft. And, of course, Nashville's not that good. Man. <laughs> 31, 18, and 3. We may have to make a trade at the trade deadline, boys. Uh, I, I, I don't want to because... Uh, <laughs> oh, man. I, I don't want to just because of the playoffs, of what happened in the playoffs. But, man, we are just not gelling for some reason this year. There you go. There's a win. I mean, we're, we're probably going to make the playoffs. Don't get me wrong there. I'm just saying... We've had too many back-to-back -back losses that have looked like we we're showing signs of weakness, you know? And I don't know what it is. I don't know if I need to make a line change. I don't know if it's just the whole team in general. Uh, I mean, I doubt it, but I guess anything's possible with this game. So I feel like maybe a trade is in order. If uh, we don't get going here by the trade deadline, it looks like we picked it up a bit. But we got to keep that going. Come on, boys. We got to keep that going right there. There you go. Two wins in a row against the Islanders. Three in a row this week. Florida, there you go, boys. All right, getting back on the right track. They're proving me wrong. Let's hope it stays that way. Come on, boys. Minnesota. They're 29, 27, and 3. There you go. 5 to 3 win. Much better, boys. Looking much better. Taylor Hall has only had, like, one goal in the past 10 games. <laughs> what the heck is he doing? I mean, whatever. We're winning, so it doesn't really matter. But I guess as long as we're scoring. I just like Taylor Hall, you know, the $8.6 million man to be uh, getting at least 30 goals a season. So, you know, because that's kind of what he's paid to do. Buffalo, there you go. All right, so. In that sequence, at least, I don't think we got a single loss. So, that's good. <laughs> that's a real improvement. Let, let, let's see how far back we go without a loss. So, one, four, uh, eight. Okay, so we go back nine games without a loss. So, February 7th. Um... You know, uh, I feel like we have enough momentum now. We we sort of carried our momentum to the trade deadline. I just... Like, again, the majority of this team won the Stanley Cup back two years ago. And if it weren't for that injury to John Gibson a year ago, I feel like we could have gone a lot farther than we did. So, you know what? I'm not going to make a trade. I mean, Griffith and Hayes may have been dropping the ball a little bit. But actually, you know what? You know what? Griffith picked it up. Griffith definitely picked it up. Definitely. Hayes as well. Yeah. We don't need to make a trade, boys. Because Griffith, nine nine points in uh, in 40-something games, 46 games. Now 63 games in, 21. He's already had more points this half of the season, which isn't even over yet, than he did in the whole first half of the season. So... Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we don't need to make a trade, boys. We do not make. Need, <laughs> Jesus, I can't talk. We do not need to make a trade. So I'm just gonna keep going here. Yeah, we're only nine minutes in. We got time. We got plenty of time. But let's just check the stats actually, because I only checked it for a couple players. I think. Yeah, I only checked it for Griffith and uh, and Hayes. Got to check out uh, the stars like Taylor Hall, Tyson Berry. Morgan Riley, yeah, so Hall, 55 points, Nylander, 52, Nylander, <laughs> JVR, 52, Nylander, 47, Broussard, 41, Broussard actually picked it up quite a bit, Morgan Riley, 38, I would like a little bit more from him, especially considering the past two seasons production, uh, a lot more actually, I want a, I want a lot more from him, uh, <laughs> he actually had almost a point a game the past two seasons, now he's half a point per game, so. <laughs> that's uh or not half a point per game or a point every two i don't know a point every two games I, I would like to see a bit more from him so riley's been a bit slow but i guess we're winning so you know i don't really have much to complain about here john gibson he's sort of slowed down but 
you know what? He's still doing his job. He's still getting wins. He's still getting shutouts. I'm still getting that decent save percentage. So I really have no complaints here uh, for this uh, this part of the season. We'll check out the team standings as well. Yeah, we're second in the league. Yeah, there's no reason to make a trade, boys. There's absolutely no reason. Uh, yeah, eighth for goals for. Third goals against. Yeah, there's no reason to make a trade. Power play, I mean, 21 in the league. Uh, I mean, uh, but keep in mind, we were, like, way down there in the, big, the beginning of the season. So, it's probably recovering. And, I mean, it's a penalty kill. If there's anything we need to change, it's the penalty kill. But, again, we've been winning games, so I don't feel like I need to change that right now. Let's take a GM tracker just in case. Yeah, I didn't think we had many points from that simulation alone. So, you know what? Let's just keep, keep going. Keep it going, boys. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. It takes us right up to the end of the season. So, yeah, going past the trade deadline. Don't need to make any trades, boys. Continue. Yep, going with this roster. And there's another win. There you go. <laughs> now watch us lose, like, almost every game after the trade deadline. Because that's just what, we, what we've been doing the past few years. But now that we have, you know, a decent veteran team, hopefully we've learned our lesson by now. So, come on, boys. I want to see 50 wins this year. <laughs> there you go, boys. Back to back. Back to back. Ah, I jinxed it. <laughs> uh, I gotta stop talking. All right, <sighs> whatever. Ottawa coming up here. Thirty-five, twenty-seven, and four. Not bad, but there you go. We're better. We're better. I got. I gotta save it for after the game. You know, don't want to uh, put put any loss on me. <laughs> gotta leave it up. Leave it up to the team. New Jersey, Philadelphia, Tampa. And Carolina, there you go. Nice win, four to one. JVR's picking up as well. He's he's past uh, Taylor Hall as the leading goal man, but Taylor Hall is getting some assists, so I don't mind that. Sean Day's a plus twenty nine. Wow. Tenorti seventy three penalty minutes. I'm just reading stats. Uh, <laughs> John Gibson with thirty seven wins. Awesome. Uh, ooh, Carolina, they're pretty good. They are pretty good, yeah. All right, that makes sense. That loss makes sense there. Not going to rip them for that. There you go, coming back against Minnesota. Nice win. Colorado. Come on now. Uh, four to one. Not looking good, boys. Get back in the win column. Get back in that win column. We were doing so well. Don't get on a losing streak now. There you go. Nice shout out. Nice shout out. Two to two nothing. Chicago, Anaheim, Ottawa, Winnipeg. There you go. Nice win against Chicago. Anaheim. Come on, bo come on now, boys. I want to see fifty wins. And Anaheim shuts us out right back. Ottawa. Come on, boys. Bounce back. There you go. Seven to four. Talk about bouncing back. And uh, I think we are going to hit 50 wins, but I'm not going to say anything else about it, just in case. Come on now, Winnipeg's not that great. There you go, 50 wins, boys. That's what I like to see. There you go, another one. You know what, at this rate, yeah, I'm not going to jinx it, but we may be contending for a President's Trophy. Although, in a way, I almost wish that we don't win the president's trophy because the year that we won the stanley cup we didn't win the president's trophy and that every year that we've won the president's trophy we've gotten kicked out in like the first or second round so uh yeah i mean hey i won't complain though if uh we we get the grand prize in the playoffs and we are definitely in the playoffs just a matter of uh who we're facing and how far we can get and if we're if the injury bug is good to us or not so let's see uh yeah Ooh, it looks like hoo, 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 we tied for the president's trophy let's see who's got more uh regulation plus overtime yeah all right it was carolina 
Let's see. Yeah, it was Carolina. All right. So we tied for the President's Trophy, but good news is maybe we won't get the uh, the President's Trophy curse. Um, okay, let's check out the final season stats. Come on now. <laughs> hey, how long that takes. All right, let's see. Taylor Hall, 75 points. Not bad. Uh, I mean, he had 94 points last season, so that's kind of underwhelming, but whatever. He he started, he started did his job. He got 33. He got over 30 goals. That's what matters. He, he's a plus 25. Can't really complain there. JVR, 72. He did his job. Nylander, 55. He was a bit underwhelming this year, but... I mean, I guess we won as a team, so can't really complain there. Broussard, he did his job, 54 points. Morgan Riley, would have liked to see a bit more from him, but whatever. Kucherov, 50 points, did his job. Carrick, 45, did his job. Barry, 45, or 44, did his job. Uh, Goldobin, 44, he did his job. So it looks like we uh, got much better towards the end of the season there uh, kept in terms of points. Uh, Kip Harper, 31, he did his job as the third liner. Seth Griffith, he even recovered a bit, 27 points. That's actually better than he had last season, so that's good. Uh, Kyle Palmieri, 23, he did his job on the fourth line. Jimmy Hayes, yeah, may have, I could have asked for a bit more from him, especially being a $3.6 million man. You know, he I would have liked to see a bit more from him, but he's at least he's consistent across the board, you know. Uh, Trocek, I mean, ooh, that... Is an ugly number right there. <laughs> um, hopefully that'll improve for the playoffs. Riley, uh, Riley Smith. <laughs> Looks like the fourth line had some uh, struggles defensively. Goaltenders. All right, so fair enough. I mean, goaltenders aren't going to be perfect all year, you know. They got the job done. We'll just say that they weren't they weren't great, but they they got it done. So I'm not going to rip on anyone. <laughs> Uh, let's actually check out how our AHL team's doing. All right, they're probably not making the playoffs. Let's just check real quick. Toronto. Where's Toronto? Toronto. Oh, I hate this game. Where are the Toronto Marlies? Oh, my God. <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah, let's check out. So it looks like uh, Tavares and Sagan actually tied for the uh, Rocket Richard Trophy. Ekman Larson was 79 assists. My God. I see the points, actually. Yeah, Ekman Larson with 95. Ben and Sagan tied for the uh, Art Ross Trophy with 103 points. The figures. <laughs> and uh, there you go. John Gibson had the most wins as a goaltender in the NHL. Uh, I mean, nothing really much to do. Oh, let's check out the uh, progression. Progress sports. Sort. Actually, let's sort by attributes. Okay, so yeah, Tenority dropped. From, probably from playing on the third defensive player. That's fine. Broussard actually increased. Where is that? Offensive awareness, skating, physical, and defense. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to complain there. Uh, Taylor Hall, he, he, uh, he increased. Sean Day, he increased as well. Harper, Riley, I'm guessing they increased. Uh, not really much else. Goaltenders, nope. Okay. That is nice. Uh, yeah, I guess all that's left to do now is see who we have in round one. So let's do that. just that. Oh, yeah, and we got to turn on injuries. That's right. And we have the Boston Bruins. All right. Uh, not going to upgrade anything. All right. Yeah, let's go into the settings before I forget. Rules. Come on now. There we go. Injuries on. Goalie rotations off. And uh, let's make sure John Gibson's in the net just in case because, you know, this game likes to uh, screw with me a lot. Coaching. Edit lines. Goalies. There you go. J John Gibson's in there. Okay. That looks good. And Harper actually grew to an 84. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So it looks like he'll be able to take over Broussard next year or the year after because 
Broussard's getting old, you know, 34. He's still got his star potential, but I would imagine that's going to drop next year. So, hopefully Broussard doesn't want too much this offseason. So we can assign him and maybe put him on the third line or something. Alright, so we got the Boston Bruins in the uh, first round of the playoffs this year. So let's check out the playoff tree, see the rest of the NHL. So in the West, we have Vancouver versus Arizona, Edmonton versus Anaheim, St. Louis versus Calgary, Dallas versus Colorado, and in the East, we have New York versus Washington, Carolina versus Philly, Tampa Bay versus Montreal, and your Toronto Maple Leafs versus the Boston Bruins. So guys, I'll leave it there. And if you have any suggestions, comments, leave them down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.